Friends, in today's video, I will give you complete error codes of the Samsung Inverter Refrigerator. All the inverter refrigerators have PCB board inside them. These PCB boards are smart enough to tell the problem in the fridge, and if we know all the error codes, then it gets easy for us to repair the refrigerator, and we are telling you all these error codes in this video. So, I will tell you what errors we get in the Samsung Inverter Refrigerator and what information we obtain through these error codes. This Samsung Inverter Refrigerator has two PCB boards installed in it. The one on the left is IPM PCB board, and the other on the right is Power PCB. Both the PCB boards have light emitting diode lights installed in them. Let me zoom the camera in. So here this light emitting diode light is installed in the IPM PCB board, and this light emitting diode in the right is installed on the power PCB on its upper portion. Both the PCB blinks different error codes in case of various faults in this Samsung refrigerator. Now let me tell you this when the error codes are shown. These both lights flash differently. But the first work we need to do is to pass the electric supply to the refrigerator, and we should also know whether the electric supply is passing through the fridge or not. And let me tell you this as well. How will you know that at what situation will the refrigerator work normally? Now I will pass electricity through it, and you have to watch this light on the IPM board carefully through which, you will come to know in what condition will the refrigerator work normally. Now, I will pass electricity to the refrigerator. It would be best if you observe the IPM PCB. So watch. As you saw this light here glowed and then blew out which means that the electric supply has passed through the refrigerator and the system has started to work. But, the error shows up later on, and now see this light has begun to glow continuously, which means that the PCB has power on the compressor, and the compressor right now has started to work. But when it displays blinking error whether the light on the IPM board will flash or the other one on the power PCB. Now, when the fridge is working continuously in this condition, it means that your fridge is working fine. But if still it shows a problem in this condition, you will have to check the problem manually. But as it is generally very efficient, and it displays the blinking error code for the specific problem. Now, the refrigerator is working, but the light is blinking on the power PCB board. Let me show you by zooming the camera, what the problem is it showing. The compressor is also working but, the compressor will stop after half an hour when the refrigerator will have much cooling inside. So what is the fault? The light is blinking 11 times and when we count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so it is blinking 11 times. It means that the PCB is not getting feedback from the fan install inside the freezer. The fan is jammed or faulty, and sometimes it is caused by, when the freezer is filled with excessive ice then the fan gets stuck due to ice, which is cause of this error code problem else this problem stops the refrigerator working after some times, as right now, the compressor is working continuously. Also this problem will display if the wire gets cut, burns or if the fan gets faulty. So this is the way to detect this problem. Now we have the next error code, and right now the power PCB light is flashing. IPM light is glowing continuously and the compressor is also working. This error code gets active after a while. The system keeps ignoring it but after 3 to 4 hours it stops the refrigerator. And right now let's see how many lights are blinking. If we count them, 1, 2, 3. The light is blinking 3 times. And when 3 lights blinks, it means that its outdoor sensor is faulty, short circuited or open, and due to the sensor this error code is displayed. This is the sensor and this is its connector. Its connector is connected in connector number 31 and you see it is attached to the refrigerator body. When it gets faulty then this error code is displayed on the power PCB. And if we talk about the value of the sensor, its resistance value must be in kilo ohms, and this is a NTC sensor. And how to test a sensor, we have already made a video on it, but here, we will tell you its value only. And if you didn't watch that video, watch it as well, as it will be really informative for you. So, Friends see right now the value of the sensor we are getting is 5.41 kilo ohms. The temperature right now is almost 23 degree, and, if this value is shown at 23 degree then the sensor is okay, rest learn the sensor complete testing through our other video. Now, the next error code is also showing on the power PCB. Let's count the flashes on the power PCB. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, it is showing 9 blinks, 
and when power PCB shows 9 blink it means that the thermostat installed inside, which control the temperature is whether faulty, wiring connection has disconnected, or connector is broken and loosen up. Also, if the wires has loose connection here from the PCB board, still this problem can be displayed. Now, we will also need to check the thermostat inside the refrigerator. See, this is the temperature control, which we call thermostat as well. It has electronic circuit on its backside, and if it gets faulty or the wire disconnects, then it will show 9 blink on the power PCB. Now, we have the next error code, but, when this error code will display the complete fridge and freezer will stop, and, see here as well, the light is not glowing on the IPM PCB board, the compressor is also stop, so in this condition the refrigerator will get no cooling. Now, let's see what error is it. Let's count its flashes, 1 2 3 4 5 6, so it's blinking 6 times, so when the power PCB will flash 6 times, it means that the sensor installed in its cabinet, has got faulty, or is short circuited, and, now, this is the time to replace it. Now, I will show you what is the value of this sensor, and, where is it installed. I have removed this cover from the refrigerator body, and I will show you both the things inside it, these are the connectors of both the parts, the blue wire is for the sensor, this red and black wire is for this electronic thermostat, which I showed you before in the previous section of the video, which is installed in this way over here. Let me show you its value now, after opening it from its cover. If you want to check both the parts, remove its cover from these clips, and, this way we will easily open it. Now, we will remove electronic thermostat from its connector, and now, see the sensor is installed here in this position. Let me tell you its value, as when this sensor gets faulty it's difficult to find its correct resistance value, now I will check its value which will help you change it easily. Now. I will use the same method to check its value as I did before. It is showing 5.68 kilo ohms at 22 degrees Celsius temperature. As, if the temperature increases the value of the sensor will decrease, and, when the temperature decreases its resistance value increases, as it is a NTC sensor. So, this is the way to check it. Now, in the next error code, the IPM PCB board light is glowing, means its compressor is working, but the error is also displaying on the power PCB board. When this error code will display, the refrigerator will stop after some time. At the moment, if we see this error, let's count its blinking, 1, 2, so the light is blinking 2 times. When power PCB flashes 2 times, the sensor installed in the freezer is bad, short-circuited, or, the connector is loose, and may be not connected. This error can be detected this way. You will have to change the sensor and this error will stop showing on the power PCB board, let me tell you its value as well. Now, I have removed the freezer fan cover from the front, and, this sensor is installed with the evaporator, let me show you by zooming the camera in, you can see the sensor is installed here, it is installed with return pipe, and, you can see this as well that first comes the accumulator then the sensor. If we talk about this sensor, it comes in yellow colored wire, and, this is also an NTC sensor. So, let's check its value at 22 degree temperature, what value does it shows? This sensor also has a value of 5.36 kilo ohms, almost all the sensors are of the same value, but to test NTC and PTC sensors you must have to watch our another video. Now, after this the next error code is of the IPM PCB board and power PCB, the light will blink on both the PCBs. If we see the IPM PCB, let me show you by zooming in, let's count the flashes, so, it is blinking 3 times, and, now I will count the flashes on the power PCB, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, it is blinking 10 times. When the light blinks in certain combination, it means that the compressor has not started, now what could be the fault here? The first, if due to any reason the compressor gets bad, its pump gets stuck. Then it will show this error, as the PCBs have not detected it rotation. When the rotation of the compressor will not be detected this fault will be shown. Apart from that, let me tell you this as well, that, if these UVW connection wires here cuts off, short circuits or burns, then 3 and 10 blinks error can be shown. If, the compressor is fine then its IPM will short circuit, and, this, error can also be displayed due to the short circuit of IPM. 
How to test the IPM we have already made a video on it. If you didn't watched, check those videos out. Now, I have removed the electric box cover of the compressor, and, you can see here an overload and a PTC sensor, let me remove them both. If, when one of them also gets bad, then this error code can also be displayed, then you will have to check them both, it's PTC sensor and overload. Besides, the error codes I told you, this refrigerator has more error codes as well, which are shown on the IPM PCB board. The IPM PCB board blinks light one time and two times, but right now this PCB is not flashing these blinks, but let me tell you for your information, that the PCB flashes these blinks, and, when these blinks flashes then IPM can be fall to your short circuit, and, you will have to change the IPM of the IPM board. You could also change the whole IPM PCB board, if the IPM is not available, then you will be able to fix your refrigerator. Apart from this, another error code is also displayed, which is displayed when IPM board blinks 5 times, and, I will tell you about, 1, 2 and 5 blinks completely in some another video but, now I am just giving you a hint, so you could have an idea what the fault is. So, when the 5 blinks are shown, the microcontroller of the IPM PCB can be faulty, let me show you the microcontroller by opening the IPM PCB board from its place. So, see when this microcontroller gets bad then the IPM board will show 5 blinks. Let me tell you this as well, that both these PCB boards communicate with each other, the connector 201 and the other connector 73, if these PCBs have no communication through these connecting wires, both the PCBs will stop, and, the refrigerator will not be functional. So, this is for today's video, I will tell you about the remaining 3 error code in another video. So, see you in the next one.